Agriculture, what we do every day is not just a job, it's a way of life. Farmers in general are good stewards of the land because without a good soil health, we don't have a business. Uh, without a business, we're, we're doing something else every day. The ultimate goal is to stick a, a sharpshooter shovel in the ground and pull out soil and all you see are roots and earthworms and places for water to go. For farmers and ranchers, keeping water and soil on their property is a huge priority. For soil to stay on my place means my place will be healthy for years to come. For the water district, keeping soil and fertilizers from washing into our reservoirs means cleaner water and healthier lakes. So our goals line up, and from there you have a partnership that benefits landowners and the water district. Our program focuses on working with rural landowners and ag producers to support best management practices and conservation practices on the landscape that will reduce erosion and keep nutrients such as fertilizers on the landscape and on their farms. As a supplier of untreated water, we rely on clean reservoirs to meet the water needs of more than two million people in North Texas. Our commodity, our water that we sell, comes from those reservoirs. The reservoirs are fed by watersheds, and watersheds are that area that drain rainfall and water to those reservoirs. So whatever happens to the land in those watersheds, good and bad, impacts the quality of water downstream. So it's important to maintain a good, sustainable land use in that watershed so that we don't get a lot of polluted runoff and sediment coming from the landscape into that water. One of the ways we do that is by working with landowners, local soil and conservation districts, and the NRCS, Natural Resources Conservation Service. Together, we help fund and implement practices that improve soil structure and reduce runoff. Well, the bottom line is the soil. Everything starts with the soil and in the field. If you could protect the water at its point where the rain falls, if you can focus on that area, then you'll have cleaner water at the end point, which is the lake that supplies the, the water source. First, our area here is all dry land, no irrigation whatsoever. So therefore, all the water that falls on my property, I want to retain all that I can. The experts say it doesn't make any difference how much rain falls on your land. The difference is how much rain stays on your land. We want to promote best practices that will help them meet their bottom line and be sustainable as a business and also have off-farm benefits that protect water quality and water quantity downstream. Filter strips, cover crops, conservation tillage, and better nutrient and grazing management, all part of preserving and maintaining a healthy landscape, which results in cleaner water. We use cover crops a lot in this area uh, to build the soil health, to build organic matter. We've got native grasses that I have not seen here. I grew up on this farm as a boy that I've never seen here. And since we started this, I'm seeing big blue stem that I've never seen here before. It's amazing. This is a change in management. Some of these grasses are coming back un unassisted. Cover crops are aiding in our soil retention through infiltration. Through less tillage, we are creating a better soil profile, which aids in infiltration and water holding capacities. Besides less erosion and holding more water, there's another amazing thing that happens when you improve soil health. It tends to reduce the amount of work and chemicals needed to make the land productive. It's just a real epiphany to me to realize you don't mow pastures anymore. You don't have to use chemical on your pasture. You can raise cattle with low input. The runoff from a healthy watershed will be cleaner. It'll have less sediment and it won't have the nutrients and the fertilizers, pesticides, other things like that. We try not to tell a producer what to do, but we like to put out you know, cookies, if you will, to get them to take on some new practices because if you try to tell them to do something, then you know, you're, you're not welcome back on the farm. Well, I think my advice would be that just because that's the way you've always done it doesn't mean that that's the best way. 
So it really takes partners to leverage resources, exchange information, and find the best way to do things. Building on those partnerships with landowners and conservation agencies is a key part of our watershed management program. It helps the ranchers and farmers improve their operations, and it helps the water district protect the quality of water in our reservoirs. I had an officer in the military say one time, I said, never forget that science and technology will always win out over luck and superstition.